Big uh, breakout ball game for you. How did it, how did it feel breaking into clear on that last one, knowing you'd put it away? Uh, it was huge. Uh, you know, obviously, it always, always feels good when uh, there's no one between you and the, and the end zone. So, uh, only thing on your mind is you know don't get, don't get caught. And uh, actually, before the before the play on the sideline, Coach Moore had looked at me and said, "House it," and I said, "Okay." So, uh, self fulfilling prophecy right there. Coach Moore had mentioned that you uh, I don't know how much of it you heard, but how kind of had to endure some BS. He said this week and things. How much of that did you hear? And how much of that did that kind of fuel you at all going into a game like this? Uh, you know, in this day and age where everything is right at your fingertips on social media, everything is just we're all so connected, you know, twenty four seven that uh, obviously it's hard to to not see uh, a lot of the uh, a lot of the hate. But at the same time, you know, I got plenty of messages from, from fans saying, you know, hey, we support you, we love you, you know, we, we got your back, keep keep doing you. So uh, I have a great set of family and friends and you know teammates who believe in me. So uh, it didn't really matter. Most of them just made me laugh. Uh, but, you know, it felt good to go out there and you know, have a good game. How important was that first drive for you guys to kind of find some rhythm? Uh, it's huge. It's huge. You know, that's one of our goals is uh, first drive touchdown uh, to start the game off. And, and you know, we haven't, we haven't gotten that in a, in a couple of weeks. So, uh, it was good to finally get on track with that. Uh, had, had, had a great catch to, to really kind of keep it on the third down, keep it going, and you know, just kind of drove it down there. And then you know, another great catch for the touchdown. That touchdown pass and another <coughs> later on to Gidry, a little more of a kind of a touch or arc pass on it that you've been looking to throw this season. Was that what you've been trying to do all year? Uh, uh, been throwing it how I guess I, I perceived it and you know, kind of how, how we've been practicing it. Uh, been working on back shoulders a, a lot and that kind of thing lately as well. Uh, really, honestly, the first touch, the first touchdown, it was a good throw, a good catch. Second one was it was behind him. He, he jumped up and made a really great play. So I made a great play. So uh, you know, I appreciate him for doing that. You know, uh, but that's that's what we got to get the rest of the season. You know, we got to get. I got to put the ball where it needs to be, and then we got to get other guys to make plays. What did you see on the scramble drill that turned into that long gainer by Steven? Um, you know, kind of coverage. Kind of coverage went one way. I uh, wasn't really expecting it. Uh, but you know, stay calm. Kind of, kind of got out of the pocket. Try to, try to get a uh, you know, extended play going, and he breaks the opposite way, which normally you, know, you, you never really want to do. But you know, I saw it the whole time, and, and you know, it, was, it was the right move, obviously. And just kind of put it on him and let him run. Coach, that's the, yeah. Sorry, coach had the idea this week was to just relax and play, play aggressive, not overthink things. I know you mentioned that after the LSU game. How did you personally kind of break through that barrier of overthinking things and just play? Uh, you know, I, I'm sure when I go back and watch film, I, I made plenty of wrong, wrong reads. You know, I worked the wrong side plenty of times, probably. But uh, you know, just kind of trusting your gut and, 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 and trusting kind of what you've been working on in practice and, and you know, seeing what they give you and, and reacting to it, and not not trying to overthink, overanalyze everything. If this guy goes here, then I have to do this and that kind of thing. Just you know, seeing, reacting, and, and, and just playing. You know. Uh, it's a great sport. I played it my whole life. I love it. So uh, it was good to kind of get back in there and have some fun playing it. What is it about Texas A&M that brings out the best in you? 3-0. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. Maybe it's just proving we were in the room better. Who knows? <laughs> you think A&M fans will throw a party now that they don't have to play anymore? Who knows, man? Who knows? Uh, uh, obviously, the past three seasons, uh, played well against them. And, and tonight, tonight was no different. But uh, obviously, I have. Ten of the guys on the field with me at the same time uh, who make plays and, and do their job just as well as I do. So uh, you know, I'm sure they'll be throwing a party. They're just done having the players for the season. What uh, what was Anum doing defensively that allowed you to flourish in the passing game? Uh, you know, giving us a lot of access to the field, uh, a lot of off corners, and really biting on double moves. So uh, we, we just took advantage of that and you know, took what they gave us, and then uh, you know, kind of pulled them in, pulled them in with, with some short throws, and then went over the top. You made a starting quarterback in the league, obviously, for a while. Do you think if this, if a four interception game had happened your sophomore year, do you think you would have bounced back as easily, or have you learned some things about, you know, just how to compartmentalize stuff like that? Yeah, yeah I, I, as you get older and, and as you continue to play, uh, you're going to have bad games. Um, you know, I think uh, there, there was a time Russell Wilson had five interceptions in the game, and he said we're going to keep swinging, you know, three, three touchdowns in the next game. Um, it, it's not. It's, I guess as you get older, you learn not to dwell on things, and, and you learn that you know, it happen, learn from it, move on. The same things I've been saying all season, and I truly, truly believe in that. I truly do that. Uh, you know, learn from it, become better, and but move on. And don't, don't let the same game beat you twice. Uh, don't let the same throw beat you twice. Um, you know, and, and so that's just kind of something that I've learned you know, throughout the years, obviously. 
there's been a lot of ups and downs in, in my career, so uh, you know, having to deal with a lot of adversity and also a lot of prosperity. Was it encouraging that Moorhead came to you all this week and were like, look, we got to be able to pass the ball. You know what I mean? This isn't going to be, I mean, just what were those conversations like with him? Uh, you know, it was it was something that, that we already knew. Uh, obviously, we knew that we, we couldn't just line up and run the ball you know, every play and expect to win a game. Uh, so <clears> me, the receivers, and, and him had a, had a meeting, you know, kind of, just talking about, look, he'll take some of the blame, you know, which he shouldn't, you know, that, that's on us, we make the plays. Um, but, you know, we have to take responsibility for it, and, you know, we have to actively do something different in practice to improve it, and actively try our hardest to, to improve the passing game, and improve the relationship between, between me and the receivers, improve the timing, improve the routes, and improve the throws. Uh, and that's just something that we did this week. We really focused on it and, and said, you know, we're, we're going to throw the ball. And we're not, we're not going to go out there just slinging around, but we're going to be balanced and, and, and we're going to throw the ball. And y'all going to run your routes. And Nick, you're going to throw an accurate pass and, and we're going to move the ball. Did the official explain the celebration <coughs> penalty? Uh, he did not. I feel like if I got a celebration penalty for that, I might as well just punt the ball in the stands or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> just third year as a starter and never had a celebration penalty, and then I got something for that. I mean, that's. Awesome. What meeting you had with Coach Moorhead and the receivers and all that? That happened yesterday, right? Uh, I mean, well, we've had talks throughout throughout the week, but yes, he pulled all of us aside uh, last night after our team meeting and just kind of told us, you know, look, uh, it's it's time to make a change and, and it's on you. So uh, we're gonna throw the ball and you know, be ready for it. You as the players, how did y'all? What did y'all then do next after he sort of gives you this challenge? I mean, yeah, we. Throughout the week, we, we, we've talked about it. You know, we knew that his plan was, was to throw the ball no more and to be a lot more balanced and, and, and not just throw you know, in, in throwing you know, situations. Um, so throughout the week, we've been talking about it, you know, kind of been hyping each other up and been making sure that, that we were ready for it and, and making sure that we were all getting our work, all getting in the playbook, you know, making sure that our adjustments are correct, uh, making sure that, that we're seeing you know, coverages and adjusting routes and adjusting throws to that. Uh, so after he said it on the last night, you know, there's kind of just one final, you know, kind of, I guess, finalization, just kind of one final you know, push to, to get us to really understand and really kind of take it to heart.